Okay, so now it's come back with all these results in front of me and the great thing is that I can actually see what's here. So as you can see this column has been filled and all the results have been generated. Now as I was mentioning, you need to have at least a maximum, this is the maximum amount of competition. You don't want too much competition and what we usually try to look for is a maximum of at least 30,000 30, search engine competition and this comes back to the part that I was discussing at the beginning here. Okay, so right here, as I said, the third part in determining a profitable keyword is to have at least a maximum of 30,000 competing websites. All right, this is a maximum. You don't want anything more than that. Anything more than 30,000 becomes really difficult to compete in. Okay, so jumping back into Market Samurai, you can see that I put in 30,000 and what's happened is that it's gone through and removed 47, 43 sorry, of, uh, of the keywords and 671 have been filtered through, therefore leaving us with 86 active keywords to choose from. Now that's still quite a lot of keywords to actually have a look at. Okay, so you'll see that you've got these important fields here where, as I said, these are generated from Google and Market Samurai has pulled them out from Google. Now I haven't mentioned or talked anything about this and this is the part where I'm talking about commercial value. So let me jump back. This is the important part determining whether or not this keyword is profitable and this is the commercial value. And the beautiful thing about this is that Market Samurai tells you exactly how much it's actually worth from Google per click. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at, say for example, Drivers Ed Games. Um, this is not a good example actually. Let me have a look. Driving Practical. Okay, Driving Practical is more relevant to car driving exam test. And what it's saying is that Google says the average click per the average click per rate that they're willing to pay for each person who clicks on a Google ad is a dollar and six cents. That's pretty good actually, uh, in in some sense, because if you can get that kind of click through for anyone who clicks on your ads if you place on your website, you could potentially get depending on the traffic that you're getting per day, if you, if they click through a dollar and six of that. And it estimates that you could probably generate about $1,975. Now, don't take my word for it. These, these figures here are approximations. These are not exact figures. And the only way to know that these figures become valid is when you actually set up the website and begin your testing and setting up your ads. Because it really depends on how you set your ads up and also depends on how much traffic you're getting through on a day-to-day -day basis. But these are average figures, which gives you a good indication, a very close indication of how much potential traffic you're going to get through. Okay, so I'm looking at this right now and let's just take for example, driving practical seems like a good term. It's got 1,864 potential daily search engines uh, traffic if you get number one ranking plus very low competition below, below 30,000 and a high commercial value which is great. So I'm going to click on this little key that says here and I'm going to open it up in a new window. So I'm going to click on it right now. And you'll see that it's opened up a brand new tab up here on the driving practical. Now, you might be thinking, okay, why are we opening up a new keyword in the new window? Well, we're not going to do some more keywords research into it just as yet. We're going to find out what the competition's like. And the reason why we do this, if we click on SEO competition, is to see who's ranked on the first page of Google in the top 10 and to see how they're currently performing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button here that says generate results. And what will happen is that it will go straight to Google right now and pull out the top 10 results uh, based on what these people have typed in for driving practical as a keyword term. And once you get these in front of you, you'll be able to just see this little matrix and we'll go through this matrix in detail in a sec. Okay, the first thing you probably notice is what the heck is all this? <laughs> Don't be confused, okay? I'm going to explain to you right now how this works. The first thing I want to do is I probably want to turn off the Google index count. Sometimes that's not relevant to what it is that we need to know about. And the rest of it would be relevant, okay? Now, the first thing you'll notice is that you'll see that down here, all these columns here. I'm just going to explain to you briefly what columns we need to look out for. The first column is PR, which is page rank. And this is just a key factor that determines what your uh, page or your website is ranked on Google and Google gives you a number. The higher the number, the better it is for your website. Not better for us though. <laughs> I'll explain to you shortly about that. BLP stands for page backlinks. BLD it means how many 
backlinks coming back to your domain and BLEG, well, these are all related to government and education domains. Don't worry about this too, too much at the moment. What's crucial is title, URL, description and heading. That's what we need to look at. And what I just want to briefly explain to you is what these colors all mean. A color in the red means that it's very, very competitive or definitely not something that they recommend. A color in orange means it's okay but a warning and the color in green means it's a go ahead and it's a good, good area to go into. So this matrix here is basically showing the top 10 of the websites that are located for this term driving practical. And what I can notice here just from a glance at it is that there's a lot of red. Obviously there's red here, red there, red here, red there. And immediately just by looking at this, it's it's not a very good uh, term to actually compete against because there's, there's a lot of strong competition, particularly these two pages right up here are actually quite strong and also this YouTube channel. Though in saying that, um, the rest of them are actually PR0. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So half of the websites that you see here are all green and that means that half of it is not competitive. Therefore, you might still have a chance. But seeing that there's at least five here that's actually uh, in terms of very competitive with PR5s and PRs4 and 3, it makes it very difficult to compete in this particular keyword. So immediately just looking at this, I would not jump into this keyword or try to start setting up my website for this particular keyword called Driving Practical and this is something I'd move away from. And if you keep repeating this process, you'll eventually find a matrix where there's a lot of green. Okay, so let's just try it again and we'll just close this one and we'll jump back into car driving exam. And we'll go back to our list and to see what keywords are available at this point in time that would be relevant and could potentially be a market to go into. So I'm just going to scroll down and have a look. Okay, I'm looking at a particular one here. It says driving crash course. There's search engine traffic of 684 and there's very little competition of 5,709. And the commercial value is at $1.70. So that means it's quite high in, in terms of what it's worth. This has interested me. So I'm just going to click on this. And I'm looking at this right now. I'm just going to do this SEO competition again. And I'm going to click on generate results, which will uh, go straight to Google and give me the competition data. Looking at driving crash course, and interestingly enough, there's a lot of green as you can see here. There's actually only one, two that are warnings and there's no red. So immediately just by looking at this, I can see many lines of green which shows that there's hardly much competition. And that's actually very interesting because that, that doesn't seem to be very, um, you, you, it doesn't seem to be right over here. So I might run the test again, but essentially this is what you're looking for. You're looking for a lot of greens and basically all these greens gives you a go ahead to say that there's not much chance of having a high competitive website out there. And if you can find those kind of greens that are located here inside this particular niche, then basically it's a go ahead that you could potentially see that this is a profitable niche. All right, so this is just an example keyword search that I've just done. I have a random blue to be able to find a keyword that would be suitable for car driving exam test. And it seems like driving crash course is a profitable keyword term that I would potentially set up a site and optimize for. Okay, so this hopefully gives you an indication of both comparisons. You can see one here says driving practical where there's a lot of red. We're just loading this back up. See there's quite a bit of red over here and very high PR in comparison to say for example over here where there's a lot of green and that's, that's a good thing. The more greens you can find inside a matrix for comparison to a keyword, the better it is for you. So that's the first part of actually finding out whether or not your keyword is profitable. And you can keep going through this whole process, searching through all these different keywords that have come up, uh, 66 odd keywords. And no doubt if you keep looking through, you probably find more keywords that are also relevant and that you could p potentially use as keywords to market and also profitable in. Alright, so I've, hopefully this little tutorial that I provide you shows you how to find 
profitable keywords inside Market Samurai. And there are going to be further tutorials which I'll show you exactly step by step on what you could do to monetize and also furthermore create the right content to be able to rank your sites up high inside Google. But this is the first step in determining whether or not the keywords are relevant. And this is your key and crucial important research that you need to do. Just as I've mentioned over here, these are the five important things that you need to ensure that when you actually do start looking for keywords that these things do match up to it. Okay, well thank you very much for watching this tutorial. My name is Tyron Shump from Market Samurai Tutorials and I'll see you inside the next video.